Hi, I'm Blaine Pertler with Pertler Electric and what I have in front of me here is a 1998-1999 ZR or ZL 500-600 carb stator. So uh, this is a carbureted unit, not an EFI. Like I say, 98-99, this was on the 500s and 600s. Uh, whether it was a ZR, ZL, doesn't matter. That's more uh, chassis setup and so forth. So this stator here uh, we've got uh, a couple plugs coming off of it. Uh, the one plug here, they're, they're both four plugs. This plug here that has the ground coming off of it, uh, this is basically your power. It has the yellow wires on it. Uh, this unit uh, powers your uh, headlights and your gauges and hand warmers and so forth, and that's what that plugs into. Uh, goes through your rectifier and, and, like I say, goes up to all your gauges. The other plug here and it's kind of this clear plastic type plug. This is the one that goes to your CDI box and this is the one we check to check resistance for our ignition coils. Our ignition coils are the two larger coils here and the largest here is are considered the low side coil and that's basically what's used when uh, sled is started up and uh, running uh, you know low to medium RPMs and then we've got our high side coil here which helps on the uh, high RPMs. So the rest of the uh, stator here, these are just lighting coils. That's the power uh, that goes through this plug here and uh, powers your lights and so forth. So what we'll do is go ahead and check our ohms here for our two ignition coils. On this plug, we've got, like I say, there's the four uh, plug uh, connections in there. And starting, I've, I put this little tab, like at the bottom here, that's a tab that catches. It's only on one side. With that tab at the bottom, the bottom left hand side is uh, purple black wire, upper left is your white, uh, this is basically a teal green upper right hand corner, and bottom right hand corner would be your black red wire. So our specs for this, uh, for this particular stator here is the black red to the white wire, which are you know the two kitty corner here, those are supposed to be uh, basically 490 to 500 ohms. That's both of these coils in series. The uh, black red to the teal green, which are the two on the right hand side here, that's your 45 ohms and that's your high side coil. That's this little bit smaller coil here. And then last but not least our white to teal green, which are our two on top here. Those are the ones that are supposed to be 450 ohms, and that is for your large low side coil only. So to test it, uh, obviously the settings on your multimeter, uh, you need to have at least uh, 500 ohm setting, and usually uh, they have like a thousand, two thousand, that kind of deal. Uh, I set mine to two thousand, and as far as you know, red or black leads, it doesn't matter at all which one we measure. So we'll start off uh, first with our with our high side coil here which is supposed to be 45 ohms and sometimes uh, getting connection in here is a little bit of a pain sometimes you gotta push hard but not too hard and then uh, wiggle them around a little bit. So we go to test our high side coil on this and no ohms you just see a one on there. If there's connection between your two leads, it at least gives you a zero. So when this is open, when there's no connection, I've got a one on mine. Uh, if you had an analog, obviously the needle wouldn't move, uh, that kind of thing. So when we check our high side coil on this stator, it is dead. We have an open condition. And I knew that going in. This is a, a bad unit that needs to be rewound. So when we go ahead and check our low side coil which is supposed to be 450 you can see it checks 453 454 uh, you know it's like 450 uh, plus or minus 10 percent or so uh, the warmer it is the higher the ohm readings the colder it is the uh, lower the ohm readings but uh, you know if you start getting something that's checking 480 500 and more when it's cold out or uh, if it's cold and uh, it's checking like below 400 ohms, uh, then you know your uh, your coil is is if not gone bad, it's going bad and could be causing your in intermittent uh, conditions. So when we go uh, kitty corner here, 
and try to get our uh, our our roughly 500 ohms we get nothing it's open zero so that tells me the connection uh, between the uh, lar the large low side and the uh, high side coil there uh, we've got a uh, broken connection in there somewhere so on this particular stator if it was in your sled and you measured it you knew you would know that the high side coil was there's an open condition and uh, our low side is testing okay on it when I rewind these I rewind both uh, ignition coils on this I don't do just one so this is the ZR uh, 500 and 600 uh, 1998 1999 carbureted stator.